How's it going once again guys welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon Like a Boss. Last time we were together we were toying with the idea of making a new custom game engine which I've decided I'm going to do now because we can. We've got 173 research. Actually I'm thinking before we do that I'm going to put some of these guys on research duty so they can do the final things here because we've got quite a lot of stuff that we can do. Uh, before we actually make a custom engine because then we can integrate it into the new engine if you get my meaning So I'm gonna go with skill trees because that's useful for RPGs this guy I Will get him to do Dynamic environment or oh, actually no I'll go with voiceover because once again RPGs have quite a lot of dialogue and if we can Do all the dialogue based things, you know, that's that sort of thing then we're good It's a sort of world design. I think we've done all the world design so we don't have to worry about that but we are going to get some more research just in case. Contracts are good for that because it does mean that you get some interesting boosts in research if you get what I mean. I might be sort of straying off the path in terms of my speech at the moment. I can just hear a load of noise in the background. Um, my washing machine sounds like it's about to explode. It's kind of funny you just hear bang, 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 bang like it's jumping around the kitchen. But, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll save that for later. If it does explode, that makes an interesting end to the video, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, industry news. We just got word that Dragon Quest, which was released by the village, has racked up over 5 million in sales. Now that's what we want to know. I think that is currently our best game, maybe, with the exception to Age of Empires. I think this has sold the most, given it's a large game, you know, it can, it can do that sort of thing. Okay, we're done with that. Should we do another bit of contract work? Is it, oh, that's it. That's the last piece of contract work we have. Should we try it? I'm not sure whether we should. Ooh. Go on, we'll give it a go. It'll at least get us quite a lot of research, even if we don't finish it. But I believe in them, I believe in my team, so, you know, fingers crossed they might actually do it. Come on, guys. You can do it, I believe in you. And while we're making the custom game engine as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all the research that I game, game from making the engine into training them as they're doing it. Because I've noticed that taking a couple of people away from the development of a new custom engine doesn't really affect the, you know anything there's not like you're going to end up with a crap game because one person wasn't working on it so you can use that time to train train all the people 79 million wow that is pretty good that's not bad that might be a record I'm not sure anyway contract successful thank you for the quick work dude, dude. so they did actually complete it I'm, I'm impressed I am color me impressed right let's do a little bit more research we've got actually we've, we've not really got much that we can do We've only got 65. Have they done? They've done all the game engines. It is time, I think. So this is the machine version something, I think. The machine version six, possibly. I kind of lose track. So let's wait. Wait a minute. No, I am just going to go and check this just to make sure. Yep. Okay. It is the machine version six. Good. I needed to make sure. Otherwise, you get that interesting moment where you uh, make the same engine you've made before and then get confused. Two engines of the same name, and you have no idea which is the better one. I've done that before. Right, so 3D version 4, advanced stereoscopic 3D, we might as well include that as well. Should we include 2D graphics or should we stick with the 3D? Ooh, I think we'll stick with the 3D. That seems to be working for us. So advanced, linear story, we've got that. Video playback, basic physics, cloud, mod, all looking good. Actually, should we, if, if we get rid of save game, we can just have save to the cloud, because we're not going to have save game over save to the cloud, are we? So, you know what, I'll leave it. I'll leave both of them on there. Um, achievements, yes, skill trees, definitely. Voice over, simple body language. Mini games, better AI. Should we have, yeah, we'll have the better AI. Virtual economy and surround sound. I don't think we need stereo sound. Do we need stereo sound if we got surround sound? I should probably keep it just in case, you know, I make a game and I want surround sound. But actually, no, no, forget it. I'm going to take out stereo sound. I'm going to leave in surround. That'll do. <laughs> okay. Now, there are a couple of things that we want to train. Anyway, um, what's this? The machine version 3D. Should we give it away? Yes, we'll give it away. That's quite an old version, so we don't really need to worry about, you know, rival companies turning up and using our stuff. <laughs> our recent decision go our engine, the machine 3D was met with positive responses. Overall, we gained 16,000 fans. That's a lot of fans. That's not bad. 
Okay, right. Now we need to look around these. Actually, I'm going to look at the staff list. Because I want to see who needs a bit of training. So, she's pretty good in the technology. Uh, let's... I want to get everybody up to, like, 300. The base of 300. On everything. So, that guy could use some technology. She could use some design. Anyone need any speed or something? Actually, you know, in this case, I might as well get them all up to 400. So I'm going to get him to do some training. Oh, I could possibly... No, 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 can't do it. I don't have 200 RP. These ones are pretty good because it means you, you just get a better character in level design or graphics. You have someone that specializes in that kind of thing. But they cost a lot. 200 RP and 5 million credits. That's, that's a lot of money. Ridiculous amounts, in fact. So with that in mind, I'm just going to do the speed one. This one, this one here. We can get our speed up to 500. That might be a good idea. Let's see if we can sort of get everyone up to 500. Then, you know, well, everybody will be up to 500. As simple as that. It just makes everybody awesome. And their badassery knows no bounds. All right, speed with that guy. He can boost as well. What about her? Is she? What's she doing? Her design is the lowest out of everybody. But once again, her technology is the highest. So I can't really give her any guff for that. Ooh! I could boost her max level. Eh, nah, maybe. Or should I really do the technology thing? You know what? No, it's fine. Let's go, let's go for speed again. Upgrade her speed. All the speed. And it may be possible that we might get another 30, because then we can do either Brian Shaw or Arthur B. Oh, wait, crap, need to boost her. Of course, almost forgot about that. That would have been a waste. That would have been a massive waste. Oh ho ho! Oh here we go. It's the Xbox One time. So for the fans of the Mbox, the long await update for the console will be soon be Microsoft has announced the Mbox One will be available at, uh, next year. The console, blah blah blah, yeah, it's going too quick. But basically, the Mbox One's coming out. So we've kind of reached the point in gaming history that we're at now. Do you know what I mean? So I suppose in this game, it is technically around 2013, maybe beginning of 2012, sort of thing. But anyway, industry news. Clearly, Microsoft wants to push the current state. Yes, yes, yes. They do. They want all the money to Microsoft. <laughs> And unfortunately, I don't know whether they... Who's winning at the moment in terms of PS4 and Microsoft? Usually it's counted on how many they've sold, isn't it? So usually it's, ah, oh, the PS4 has sold so many more. It's technically won. And here it comes. The PS4 or the PlayStation Play System 4, as they like to call it in this game. This is unlike the Mbox, the PlayStation 4 doesn't have an always-on requirement. That was the big thing, wasn't it, with Xbox One? There was the whole always-on bollocks. It's just sat in the corner of your house, looming like some sort of crazy online goblin. It's always watching you, no matter what you're doing. It was a little bit creepy. But okay. We want to go with speed on this guy as well. So do your mighty boosty thing. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get enough to do Brian Shaw. I was hoping we'd get round everybody. You know, everybody gets a chance to do some training. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Although this guy, Jesus. Plus 18, my God. Now, contract work. Dun 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 dun. Alright, so we've done the contract, we've got a new custom game engine, so it may in fact be time to make something on that custom game engine. Before I do though, I should probably go and start a new project in my R&D lab. I completely forgot about my R&D. And considering I've got quite a lot of money now, I might as well give it a try. So AAA games, you know, with 433,000 fans, I'm pretty sure we can sell AAAs. So what's that? We have proven that we can make large games work. How about we see we're making games that are so massive in scope and such high quality that we can create an entire new label. Triple A. Dun dun dun. Be the first person to make a triple A game. That's quite a feather in your cap, that is. Yeah, I'd be quite impressed if that happens. So, okay, what should we make? Should we develop a new sequel? Or should we make a completely new game? I think maybe a sequel's a good idea. That's kind of, you pull in the fans. You pull in the previous fans, considering all 434,000 of them. That's, that's quite a lot of people. So, Diablo 2, Flight Sim, got an 8. Castle Siege, this got a 9. Two, wait, we didn't make Free Piece, did we? I'm pretty sure we made something else. Well, it, it, it would have moved if we made a sequel to Three Piece. A sequel to Two Piece, sorry. So, let's make a new pirate RPG. And we shall call it Three Piece. And people shall think it's amazing. And it will be a large game pointed towards a... See, pirate RPG is only apparently a good combo. But I have made quite a lot of money from it. We're going to put it on the Mbox as well. Even though the Mbox 1's coming out soon. And the Machine version 6. 
Um, so possibly for everybody, or is that a bad option? Uh, no. I don't think... Oh, actually, we could put it on this. Although RPGs don't do very well on the Woo. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> I, sorry. It's, it's, it's just got to be in my head the comparison to what it actually it's like for the Woo. Not very good, eh? I don't think they're going to be wooing all their way to the bank. Anyway, let's go with next. 3D version 4, which is our new new toy that we get to play with. And go, my pretties. Make the greatest game ever. Even though for a pirate RPG, it might not end up being that good. Who knows? So, story... Oh, also, I realised I can hire some new staff soon. Because I do have a lot of money. And I should probably use some of said cash. So, right. Engine, save to cloud, mod support. I don't think we need any of that on there. This is, this is basically an RPG. So, skill trees. Possibly achievements. Let's get rid of game tutorials. Let's boost that up a bit. Uh, let's get rid of... Well, we've got skill trees, so we don't exactly need character progression. So we'll get rid of that. We'll boost up gameplay so we've got 100%. And I think that'll do the job. That'll do, pig. That'll do. There we go. Okay, you, sir, you're going to boost. Boost for victory. And you're going to have a boost as well. Oh, we this guy. There we go. That's another boost. Although, considering this is the first stage, they're doing very well for themselves. Alright, Media Inquiry. Hi, this is Curtin Gillens from Gamers. I got word that the village is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information? Yes! Yes, I would. I'll, I'll share all the information. Many of our readers are curious about what decisions are going to make in the video game and how companies prioritise development areas. Your new game, Pirate RPG. Um, I suppose we're going to be going more on stories and quests, aren't we? It's, it's a pirate RPG, after all. If it had a terrible, terrible story, <laughs> you wouldn't play. But no, God, no. Actually, I suppose this is basically Risen. Do you remember, has anyone played Risen? It is sort of a piratey action RPG. It recently had a third one to complete the trilogy. Um, even though I think they're going to just keep going. It was an interesting game. Didn't really play, I, I played the first two. I've not played the most recent one. But yeah, it was interesting, shall we say. So, to say the least. Uh, if you ever get a chance or you find it on a Humble Bundle, you should give it a try. Because it's, it's alright. It's not bad. Strange. The combat system's a bit weird. Well, no, no, sorry. Not the combat system. The item system. It's a bit strange. But that's beside the point. We need to do some dialogues. Dialogue, dialogue. All of the dialogues. Mini games and Easter eggs. Why not? But also, we won't put better AI. No, we'll leave just AI and companions. That's good. But better AI, maybe a little bit overkill. Let's take that down. And we'll take... There we go. So we'll leave dialogues on 90. Or So we've got dialogue trace and body language. Ooh possible that a couple of my guys are kind of working over the top so Tony Rodriguez he's pretty good for design I kind of want to save one of them for when we do the world design because I know I'm gonna have quite a lot of cool stuff in that so artificial intelligence Erica Robinson yeah she's on that Tony Rodriguez or do 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 do, do. Brian Shaw he's already doing stuff isn't he so mr. Tony Rodriguez I do not want you working on that Thanks. Sweetie Cumberbatch is going to work on that. I'm going to leave this guy just for world design later on. So, okay. That should do the job. Right. Go, go, go. Go, go. D weird, strange people. I, I, I was trying to be a sort of Power Rangers, but he just petered off into madness. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus, look at the amount they've put in design already. This is going to break all the records. In fact, the amount they've stuck in technology... My god, we may be on to a winner. I suppose it depends on whether the uh, the gaming crowd enjoy it. Oh, that's pretty good. 133,000, that's a lot higher than I got last time. If I'm not first, what am I? Wait, I was voted number one booth. Excellent. So the only thing that was stopping me from being number one in the previous years was that I had a medium-sized booth. That's, that's, that's like ego stroking. Like, yes, well done, aren't you amazing? Yes, I am. <laughs> right. So who's working on this? Tony Rodriguez is also working on graphics. That's that's not allowed. So wait, what's what, what's everyone else doing? So I don't want him working on that. Erica Robinson, Brian Shaw, you can do graphics despite the fact that it may end up killing you. And Erica Robinson, that might be everything that we can do. Should we stick advanced stereoscopic? Or should we leave that off? I'm going to leave that off for the time, but I'm going to put surround sound on. Because everybody loves a bit of surround sound. 
there we go and virtual economy that can be turned on okay the final development stage this is where it could all go horribly wrong whoa uh, maybe not that's a lot in design once again and technology i think it may have beat its own record we may in fact be on to a winner come on and the hype is amazing let's do a marketing campaign just to get the hype even higher We'll do a large one. There we go. Large marketing campaign up to 408. That's in hype. Design like what, 566. Technology 340. Christ. If this doesn't make billions of pounds, I'll be, I'll be unpleased, dist amused, not very happy. Okay, today the new game platform. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna work against me. That. That really is gonna work against me because I've just released on. Um, was it the inbox? I think I released on. Or was it the play system? I think it was the inbox. But the fact that the new one's out, ugh, definitely going to work against me. All right, let's get this thing done. And completed. There we go. Yeah, it's completed. Possibly new record in everything. Yay. 3D graphics version 4, I think we might... No, not quite. We got interactive story, moral choices, and realistic weather, though. I was thinking we were going to get another 3D upgrade, but not quite. Right, so let's send all these guys on vacation. They seem pretty sleepy. Let's send on vacation, send on vacation. And you also send on vacation. Here we go. First game review came in for our mighty three piece game. Oh, it's a 10. Come on, give us, give me three to. Yes! <laughs> okay, <laughs> off to a good start. Another 10. It's another 10. One more, please, all games. Don't be a douche. You douchebag. You horrible people. <laughs> Do you reckon they knew? They knew that I was getting 10, 10, 10s across the board. And they're like, you know what, let's mess with them. Let's give them a 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like some strange crones sitting in an office somewhere just laughing to themselves. <laughs> or maybe that's looking into it a little bit too much. Anyway, let's do ourselves some contract work just to fill the time. So we've got word that three pieces made a million. Yay. A million units sold already, Christ. It may in fact beat our last one because well, that's a million units. Making lots and lots of cash. 2.5 million. Christ, it's definitely going to be one of our highest selling games ever. A contract successful, excellent. All right, I think it might be time that we hired some new people. I think it is about time. All right, so let's spend. What do we want? What are we looking for? I think we're looking for an all rounder a little bit more than anything, just someone that can kind of do a little of everything. So I'm going to go with game demo. I'm also going to get these guys working on some contracts in the meantime. I'm trying to sort of build up all the research that I can so then I can do... So I can research all the other technologies and finally get myself working on a, uh, a new console. This guy, I can turn him into some sort of technology whiz as well. I can get the console working. Um, but first and foremost, I am going to make sure I've hired some new guys and finished off all the contracts. You get what I mean. Actually... Do I need to do that? Oh, everybody's pissed off now. Everybody's all angry and stuff because this guy's turned up. All right, staff milk and training. There we go. That'll, that'll stop everyone being all pissy. And it, wait, what the hell? Did I not look at this guy's credentials? I didn't look at this guy's credentials. I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I have no idea what that guy was doing because I was trying to skim over everything. I was trying to click OK on, on the everything and that's not what I want to do. And see, everybody's angry now, because it's like, oh, you hired a guy, then you sacked a guy, and now we're all not particularly pleased about the whole situation. Right, let's look at these credentials and hire the best person for the job. So we've got Mr... Th they're all free crap, actually. So Warden Vector sounds like an evil villain. That really does. My name is Warden Vector, and I'll destroy the world. <laughs> Definitely an evil villain. Okay. I, although I think I'm going to hire the evil villain because 290, 309, he's a pretty overall useful guy. So we'll hire him and we'll get him into a staff welcome training. And then we'll hire one more guy because we can. There we go. And hopefully there's a bit more contract work. There's two more pieces of contract work. Okay. So I don't think everybody's going to be back to being happy by the time... You know, the, the, this, this, by the time we make a new game. Oh my god. Wow, Willie and Kim, my god, man. Look, 665334. Is anyone better? 
Uh, that's, that's, that guy's pretty good. Although well, this guy's speed and tech is low, everything else is really, really high. Uh, this guy's tech's quite high. You know what, I'm gonna hire William Kim. Yes, let's do it. Hey everybody, how's it going? Right, I got a full team of people. You released five games on platform and earned 203 million. Ah, oh, the M-Box is no longer available. That means Three Piece is not going to sell any more games, because I think we released that on the M-Box. Unfortunate. Why is everybody so pissed off? Come on! Everybody's so... what the... This is because of the new guy, isn't it? Everybody's so angry at it, at me. Why? Just stop being such children. Can't you just all be happy and get along? <laughs> Right, let's see if we can do the cutscene thing. I, I, I know we're inevitably going to fail on this, but hey-ho, it's worth a try, eh? Okay, so we want to get this guy. Oh, no, no, that is the wrong person. It's Erica Robinson that we want to be training. So she wants to be a technology specialist, because then we can start making consoles. And consoles is where all the money's at. Well, that's where some of the money's at. Anyway. Lab report. Boss, our research into AAA is complete, and we can now begin to complete uh, t uh, to create AAA games. A AAA game requires well-trained staff, and it's best to have specialists in different areas to make sure the team does their best work. So, yeah. AAAs. I don't think we're ready to make AAAs yet, but we will. Soon. Soon. There's a small amount of things I need to do. There's a couple of training bits I need to do. Get some um, specialists specifically Sweaty Cumberbatch and Brian Shaw and once I've done those I think I can make start, start making triple A's but anyway beside the point we should go back in and continue what we were doing so she's doing that I know for oh proposition what is this our agents have recently managed no 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 I am not doing the whole critical information thing I'm not sabotaging someone else's company that's just horribly mean but you sir are going to make a game report and now the question is, what level are these guys? Level three. That is terrible. That is truly, truly terrible. Unfortunately, ah, oh, the deadline is here. We failed miserably. Utter misery. What a shame. But that's okay. Right. I think what we're going to do is maybe do a publishing deal. Or, no. I'm going to do some training. When I say training, it's sort of research training. Because these guys aren't ready to make something. They're, they're really not. They they just don't look in the mood. They're all pretty unhappy. I think they all want to go on holiday. So I'm going to make... Um, I suppose we could call it a fake game. A game that I have no intention of selling, but I'm just going to make it for the... Um, for the research points, essentially. So I'm going to just make a game in an area that I've never made one in before. Something that I know is going to be terrible. So I'm going to do it in Virtual Pet. Because Virtual Pet... I don't know, it's never worked out for me. It's always ended up getting really bad golf fashion. You know what? Yes. I'm going to do a fashion game. Just because, as I said, I've never done it before. And I'm going to do a fashion adventure game. Because that's a terrible, terrible mix. Uh, yeah, but let's put it on the PC. And the machine version 6. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Fashion Quest. Just like Dragon Quest, but instead of dragons, it's clothes, rails, and shops. It's a little bit crap. <laughs> <coughs> See, now I know what you're thinking. I am using quite a lot of money making this this terrible, terrible game that's not going to make me any money. But it does save me just sitting around and wasting time. Because as it stands at the moment, if these guys make a game, they're going to make a terrible game. Just because they don't, they're not used to working together. So it's just not going to be a very good game. It's all going to be crap. So I'm going to put everything on this. I'm going to get them to work like beasts. Researching the everything. Okay, go! So once again, I'm not sure why stories and quests is necessary on this, but apparently it is. You know, my st the stories and quests thing was saying, Oh yeah, you really want high stories and quests. Oh, what's this? Hey, we can open... Yes, let's do it. Let's open a new hardware lab. Definitely. Our hardware lab is ready. Yay! Everybody do some sort of disco dance. Okay, budget for the R&D. These guys are spending money and not doing anything. So I'm going to get them to work on an MMO. MMOs are good. They make a lot of money, but they do end up sinking a lot of money as well. Like Towards the end of an MMO, you end up spending more money on maintaining the game than you're actually making on it. It's a strange one, but it does get you a lot of prestige. But before I do, I'm going to do the own conference first, because that, that gains me a lot more fans. 
Also, you know, it's it's kind of an ego boost, isn't it, as a company? It's like, how many people are going to go to my convention? I'm sure Blizzard get pretty happy when when they end up having, what, millions of people going to BlizzCon. I'm sure they get quite pleased about it. Anyway, it is time we made our own console. And that console is going to be known as the Beast. Because that's kind of what I call consoles. It's the Beast! The Beast version 1. Or maybe j just the Beast. The Beast. And we will put our quality assurance budget through the roof. That's going to cost us a lot of money, but it means that it's, it will be sturdy. People will like it because it's, you know, it's unbreakable. You cannot destroy this thing. And that's, uh, that's good. Alright, so we want 3D graphics version 3. We want to put the 2D on there, even though we're not really going to use it. And 3D... Oh, no, we can't. Ah, huh, fair enough. So we can only put either 3D or 2D. It can't do both. I'm pretty sure maybe the... It might be the next one that can do that. But anyway... Multiplayer, video playback, basic physics, save to cloud. We want everything that we can possibly put on this thing. So, surround sound. And I think that will do, Pig. That will do. We don't have any money now. We're down to... Well, I say we don't have any money. We've got 62.4 million. That's, that's still quite a lot of cash. But, you know, we could have more. Now, I'm not going to do anything for this yet. Because even though it is kind of still in development, they can't do anything until I start giving them money and budgeting and whatnot. And I should probably finish off this game before I do anything else. So let's once again put everything in everything. And my research is going through the roof. I am receiving quite a lot. I'm not going to go to the game conference this year. God no, no. You know, not after I made this thing. I don't want them advertising this piece of crap. Uh, that'll ruin me. It'll ruin me as a company. Although... They are putting a lot of points into design. I'm just wondering whether I should release this game. <laughs> you know, as I said, it may end up ruining my company and sinking us under, but it's distinctly possible. It may make me a lot of cash, too. Uh, so, William... No, you can go on world design, sir. I'm going to take this one a little bit more seriously. And you can go on graphics, and that take... Oh, actually, no. Tony Rodriguez, you go on graphics. And Warden Vector. There we go. Okay, if they can tip this over 600, I'll release it. I'm talking design. If they can tip it over 600. Although I don't think they're going to do that, I still think I might release the game. Because <laughs> Although they might. I think they might do 600. Don't tell me that a game, a fashion adventure game, is going to end up being... It is popular genre adventure as well. Oh my god, this might make me shit loads of cash. <laughs> 605 design and 317 technology. Wow. Wow, I've also only just noticed that this video is now 28 minutes long. That's okay, we've done quite a lot this time. And we've made a fashion adventure game that's one, given us a lot of research, and two, might actually make us a lot of money. So, we're gonna release this thing. I said I was gonna, tr I was gonna trash it, but I've done this before, where I've made, made a new game intending to trash it, and then I've released it, and it's made shitloads of cash. So, we're going to give it a try. So, due to the increase in experience, the following staff have earned a raise. Ooh, Tony Rodriguez. Well done, Tony. Well done. I'm impressed, man. I'm impressed. Okay. The first of you's fashion quest. <laughs> See? Now, that's not great. That's not as good as we can get. But that's not bad. That is a passable game. Despite the fact that it is, it is a subject that really is terrible. You know, fashion and adventure. Two things that really should not go together. Okay. Well, before I do anything else, I'm going to end that one there, guys. So thank you for joining me in this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. I hope to see you in the next one. And have a lovely day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.